Good morning, my name is David Addison and today I'm going to show you how to solve this problem. So you have a project open in Final Cut Pro and you decide you want to add some some 10 bit HDR that you've shot on your fancy iPhone 12 and when you drag it into the timeline it looks like this. So I'm going to show you how to fix that problem today. So it starts off, yeah, looking like complete garbage. And then what we can do is we can come over to our effects panel. We can type in HDR, drag the HDR tools over it, and it looks a little bit better, but it's not finished. We come up to mode and we go on to HLG, which is hybrid log gamma, 2 rec 709. And now it looks a lot closer to the way it did when I actually shot it. Now this was shot with a anamorphic lens. Hence all the distortion, hence it looks a bit weird. So I'm come down to scale, uh, the Y axis type in 64.5 and boom, there we go. There's our 1.55 uh, D squeeze. And then on top of this, we can drag a lot. We can not go to the recycle bin. We can uh, drag a lot. We can make edits and stuff like that. So if I, just choose uh, a lot to go on top of this and it's important to to keep your effects in a certain order in the inspector when you're doing this for example if you do the lot first then you know your footage doesn't look so hot uh, so it's uh, important to keep keep the hdr tools on top of any further edits that you make in your inspector and that's it there's nothing really else to say it is it is a quick fix within final cut pro so let me know if you find that helpful let me know if you've enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one stay curious and david out